It was, it was hard. It was, it was a tough episode, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Not only was it tough, it's the fact that there was no... Normally in the papers, there's hints someone's going to die. There's been nothing. Well, I so think... there I am with my cup of tea, my Kit Kat, <laughs> and I'm sitting there in the hotel. Oh, a bit of Emmerdale. Emmerdale. She died. Mm. <laughs> I was like, she can't be I dead. Know. I know. We're did she know she was going to die? Of course she did, yes. <laughs> She was told by the producer. Yeah, yes. she not on the day, though. Yeah, she, she didn't told. get the script and go, oh, I didn't realise uh, yeah, she was dying yeah. today. Yeah. When, did, when no. did you know, though? Because, I mean, it was an incredible we secret. We knew a few months before, and, um, you know, when, when one of your team goes, which is, you know, because, like, the Barton family, when we heard Sophie was going, we were all gutted. Um, well, Sophie gutted. I think Sophie um, Sophie was never going to stay for too long anyway right, because she okay. wanted to go... She's young and she wanted to go... She's a great actress and she wanted to go and do other things. Yeah. So she was kind of like... She was all right about it, but she just wanted to service the story well and do it properly. And yeah. we just wanted to keep it under wraps because it's, it's so an important yeah. story how to tell. You, how do you keep it under wraps for well, so Well, make long. sure that the press office do their job and, yeah. you know, and... and uh, but I, I think... It's good that we do this nowadays because yeah. there's too yeah. much feed in it there through it the media it, yeah. or through social mm. media. And if you think back to those great episodes in Corrie with, um, you know, Deirdre and Mike and, and uh, Ken Barlow when mm. he comes in the door and he... And yeah. it was, it was, yeah. it, we re all remember that scene because there was no... There was no teasers there. Yeah, but it's so rare, it's... isn't it? I yeah. mean, I was looking on social media last night. People were genuinely shocked, yeah. which mm. is so unusual. I mean, even with you at home, with your kids mm. and your wife's obviously in Emmerdale as well, I mean, you know, do you speak about it in front of the kids? What if they go to school and they tell anyone? <laughs> they don't, they they don't really watch it. In fact, my <laughs> daughter <laughs> kind of said to me just a couple of days ago, she went, do you know what? Coronation Street, EastEnders, Emmerdale, it's not really my genre. No. <laughs> so she's, she's 12, she's nearly yeah, yeah, 12, yeah. so, they you don't. know, I was like, OK, yeah. that's fine. But, no, they don't really watch it, so... So what's the fallout going to be from, from this, then? <sighs> well, you know, Natalie J. Robb has been amazing. She's got... Su she's had such a journey. Um, I think she's on holiday at the moment, and a well-deserved mm, holiday, because yeah. she's literally been like a wailing mm. banshee for weeks. Yeah. But then there's all the dilemma of Cain and Charity, will they stay together or will... Come on, will they? Can't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. I think the story, like, the story team have done such a great job because yeah. they've taken the three of us and done this kind of love triangle thing mm. and I think there's a real camp for Kane and Moira and there's a real yeah. camp for Kane and Charity yeah. because yeah. there's yeah. a lot of history thing there. thing is, you're going to have to be with Moira for now. She's very, very mm. down. Yeah. She needs that. Kane, doesn't yeah, she? she? Does. she yeah. needs... To be honest, we all need a bit of Kane. <laughs> <laughs> And there is a bit of I told you so, isn't there? Because Kane was never quite convinced that uh, Hollywood... Was <sighs> well, but then there's also a lot of guilt on his part because he was always kind of pushing her to... But I, I think he was trying to do it to, to kind of shock her out of it and going, you know, once a druggie, always a druggie mm. and things like that. And it kind of really backfired in his mm. face, and now she's gone. So he's also got to live with the guilt, as well as yeah. Maura's got the loss of her beloved yeah. daughter. Mm. I mean, losing a child is not what anybody wants. And no, yeah. addiction is a really important... You know, uh, theme to kind of or to to to, to kind of show on television. I think yeah. the way we've done it. I think because all of us know someone that's been a yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how tight are you as a team? I mean, you were saying that when you first found out that the character was going to go, it was a kind of shock for your little unit. Mm. Um, and like you and Emma Atkins, who plays uh, Charity, you mm. joined at the same time, sixteen years ago, didn't you? Yes, we joined the very well the same episode together, and have, have been through the same journey really in terms of you know, the characters growing up together and also us kind of getting used to kind of getting recognised together. So we've been... Because mm. we, before we joined the show, none yeah. of us knew... Nobody knew who we were, apart from me, some, like, some stupid dancing <laughs> man advert I did years yeah. ago. Do you know what I mean? That was about we've all... We've got I a did. clip of that now. No, please, please no. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're really close and... and like I say, when Sophie left, mm. I mean, she's off doing a play now. So I wish she yeah. said she's she's working, doing yeah. a, a. And your wife Zoe's yeah. in um, yeah. Emma Dow as well. She's in the show do as well. Do you get to do mm. scenes with, with her? Um, no, they don't really put us together because she's kind of part of the vets and I'm not. Mm. So yeah. they so, have yeah. just yeah. told me actually, um, and you'll be delighted to know this, Jeff, that we have got a little bit from your very first episode. We don't have you doing oh dad dancing, gosh, really? but we have got. <laughs> I've been embarrassed today, so let's just embarrass Jeff as well. Um, and this is your very first episode of Emma Look at the car. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Look at you. Oh! oh. <laughs> Just a boy. Wow. Just a boy. So, I call that my German helmet. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, you, you'd but left for a little while, didn't you? I did, yes. Would, would you leave again, or you kind of really settled um, in the deals now? Please don't. <laughs> no, do you know what? I, I left to kind of go and pursue more theatre and do other jobs um, because I'd, I'd only done five years at drama school and then I got Emmerdale, so I wanted to go out and do a bit more things in the industry. But now I'm so settled with my children and my wife's yeah. there as well that it just seems silly to mm. kind of yeah. up sticks again and leave because yeah. I work be with really such silly. a great company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I've got such a, a great, fantastic part that the writers keep writing some. I love as well the fact that they're showing a softer side of Kane a lot more now. Well, as I think well. I think it's a natural progression. If 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 I, you know the character's aged and has got more mature, so if he would have carried on as he was, mm. which was this kind of. Maverick going around the village yeah, with yeah. who he only spoke to his dad. Then the village would just go, oh, don't speak to him. He's an absolute yeah. idiot. Yeah. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.